Hello and welcome to the Nature Affinity YouTube channel. My name is Seth and this will be another episode of Reflections in Nature. Here we will be talking about possible attributes of a wealthy mindset. Because in my experience, wealth is more so a mindset than anything else. You can have any number of material things and still be very poor. Now when I talk of a wealthy mindset, this is from my experience, and take it as you will, but number one is your health. If you don't have that, then you really don't have much. You can, everything becomes more difficult if you're not healthy. You know, whether that be eating better or exercising more, I know I need to work on eating better myself. Okay. We all have things we need to work on. And also, another attribute of a healthy and wealthy mind is a peace, a peace within. How will your mirror ever be polished if you're irritated by every rub? And this is a quote from Rumi, and there's a lot of wisdom behind it. Because if you think about it, that's what all these life experiences are. They're just polishing our mirrors. Now, another aspect of a wealthy mindset is gratitude. If you're not thankful for what you have now, how will you ever get attract anything in the future? Like, the more gratitude and the more thankful you are for the people and the places that you're able to experience, the better. Because that gratitude vibrates at a high frequency that will bring you in tune with those things in your life that you may desire. Now, another aspect and a very powerful thing that we need to be able to do is let go. Let go of events of things that don't serve us anymore or perhaps never did in the first place. Treat every event as a learning experience. There are no mistakes, they're, they're just stepping stones in order to actualize more of yourself. We didn't, be, we didn't come here to become anything that we are not already. Just remember that, and it'll take the pressure off completely. Now, these insights that I have are inspired by my mom, who passed away almost six months ago. And I thank her very much for this, and for everything else that she's ever done for me in my entire life. And I know that she's here now, watching over me and supporting me. And I'd like to share that inspiration with as many people as I can. But even if just one person watches this video and gets something from it, I'm happy. That's awesome. Now, about six months ago, my mom went off the highway here and she went down this entire 50 meter embankment into the river. And the day after I came down to this beach, see her truck twisted, sitting in the water. It's hard for me to accept. It really was. But I have accepted it now, and I know that with this acceptance I can move forwards, and anything else will be a lot more easy to accept. Like this has got to be the hardest thing that I've ever had to accept in my entire life. 
What's really helped me is exposure to inspiring event in environments like this one. She really did leave me an amazing place to remember her by and I'm very thankful for that. If anything this goes to show how any moment can really be your last and make the most of every moment because it's in the moment that change really happens. Any change that you'd like to see in your life begins with this very moment. And expressing love and compassion for those around you is also extremely wealthy and a rich mindset because when you do that you understand that nobody's doing anything to you. They have their own unique experiences that they're going through in their life. And he just happened to see maybe a page of that, if that, and maybe not even. He might have just seen a sentence of their life, or a word. Now, if there's any sentiment or statement that I really dislike, it's, it is what it is. Yeah, it is not what it is. It's what you make of it. Every event in this universe is neutral. It's us that attaches the connotations, positive, negative, otherwise. So we can make the change. We can view every event as neutral. And that way, we don't have to be reactionary to it. We just observe it and understand it. Now, one of the things she really inspired in me is following my passion, which my deepest passion is getting out into nature. And she really left me an amazing place to remember by on the highway here, on the Salmon River. And for that, I'm deeply inspired. Because this is not the end, this is only another beginning. There is no death. The energy within never dies and is always with us. I feel her presence stronger now than ever before. Now, another aspect of a wealthy mind is the ability to collaborate with others. Competition is an illusion. There is no competition between unique experiences. There's only collaboration. And what you can do by yourself is nothing compared to what you can do collaborating with others, whether it be one person or a group of people. And through this collaboration, we can evolve as a species and join into a more unified society where we're not so divided all the time. Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. My battery died at the river, and then my car battery died at the same time, like when I was coming back. So that basically catalyzed this whole trip and why I'm right here to go get a new battery in town. I don't know if you can see around here, there's a little bit of snow. Amazing. I love winter. It gets me so like energetic. Like the cold weather, you can just put on a jacket and you're good to go. But if it's too hot, then there's only so many layers you can take off. Back to the subject at hand. A great this 
situation even highlights a great aspect of a wealthy mindset because I adapt adaptation and continuous learning is key. With a, like, I could have got frustrated, I could have got upset that my video didn't turn out perfectly the way I wanted it to, but plans were meant to be disrupted. That is why continuous learning and adaptation will bring you the most ideal results in the long run. Another aspect that I'd like to talk about here is mutual respect. Okay, seek first to understand and then you will be understood. Because respect is a two-way street and mutual respect is key for any sort of collaboration with anybody. The last, the last aspect I'd like to talk about is the intuition. Okay, I have done this multiple times myself. I think about something way too much and overanalyze it to the point of ridiculousness. But since I've started trusting in my intuition more and not thinking as much, like not overanalyzing things, it's good to think but not overthink. And when you're able to trust in your intuition and let it guide you more, then you transcend to overthinking. Now, the question I'd like to ask today is, the internet, it's an amazing resource. There is nothing parallel to it at this point that is widely available. But at what point does it begin to hinder us and hold us back instead of helping us evolve further in our experiences? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And thank you very much for watching. Much love. Until next time.